Where's up? So I'm on my way to Lennox and heads up. Don't ask me no motherfucking questions unless you want a two piece and a biscuit. I'm talking about slapped out. Okay. Man, them nosy mofos at TMZ caught up with Tommy Lee as she was leaving jail in a dress. Looking like she was about to go to the club. But she said she was about to get to that money, you know, and go get something to eat. You know, like that's what you think when you get out of jail, right? I, I guess. I don't know. I haven't been to jail in a while. No. But that's a whole other story, Jesus. So basically, Tommy was just released from jail. TMZ posted a video, which I reposted on my blog, if you want to see it. But the video that Tommy posted on Instagram that for some weird reason she deleted, she said, try it if you want to, hashtag LGB, excuse me, LBGT, lesbian, bisexual, gay. Okay, that's what it is. She said it wrong. It's uh, it's LGBT. That's what it's supposed to say. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, testicle. Okay. Hashtag Pride Weekend. Hashtag Labor Day Weekend. Hashtag Have a Laugh. Hashtag Bitch. It's free. And yeah, the video I showed you at the beginning and this caption was like the, one of the first things that she posted up on Simstagram since, you know, being released. I call it Simstagram because I stay simping for sexy milfs like Tommy Lee who are way out of my league and I need to stick to the crackheads and the homeless women I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. I'm just so happy that she was released because whatever they claim that she did, you know, we all know that she was falsely accused because Tommy Lee has never done anything wrong in her whole life. She's the truth, you know, she's a great person, she's a sweet person, she's kind, she's caring, she's generous. She never did anything that was worthy of getting arrested for, you know. I, I don't understand why they were messing with her in the first place, Jesus. I guess it's because, you know, the war on pretty. There is literally a war on pretty. You know, that's what it really all boils down to, Jesus. And I'm tired of it. I'm just so freaking tired of it. This is crazy. Listen, hashtag free Tommy. What'd you say? She's already free? Well, hashtag never arrest Tommy again. Yes, Jesus, that's how I'm rolling. You know, she doesn't deserve that sort of negative treatment. She's a very kind person. And I, I just don't understand how they could ever uh, put her behind bars. Now, don't get me wrong. I would like to handcuff her, but not to send her to jail, but to send her to bed. But that's a whole nother story. That ain't none of y'all business. And I ain't never gonna have it. She doesn't know I exist, even if she did. She's way out of my league, so I'm just saying, I'm just being silly. Plus, she couldn't handle this mean three and a half inches anyways, I could tell. But that's none of y'all's business. I'm just happy that she's out because she's one of my favorites. And I love her videos, her photos, you know, her personality. She's freaking phenomenal. Love watching her on TV. She's extremely entertaining. And I can't wait for season six of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I've always said Love and Hip Hop Atlanta is my least favorite out of the three first cities that they chose for the show. You know, Love and Hip Hop New York, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. My favorite is, of course, Love and Hip Hop New York, then Love and Hip Hop Hollywood and Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I It's not that I hate the show. It's not that I don't like it. It's just I don't like it as much as the other ones. I really do. Rather, I really don't. And, you know, now that Tommy's on the show, it's like I have a reason to tune in. So I can't wait for season six to see her, see my fave. But this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more and follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.